Welcome back to the Weekend Handyman. Today we will be replacing the Hyfax or sliders on this 97 Skidoo MXZ670. Now uh, the sliders are these little pieces of plastic here, sometimes known as Hyfax, have other names too. Um, you want to check these every once in a while as just part of your uh, regular maintenance to make sure they're not wearing down too much. A lot of times they'll have uh, marks on them to tell you where the wear is on them if they need to be replaced. Uh, these ones don't really have that. Um, seems like a lot of the stock Skidoo ones I've seen don't have that on them. And, uh, I believe these are stock. The reason we're replacing these is because we come over to this side. Uh, the stock one is completely gone. It was worn through and just fell off. Now the first thing you're going to do is to uh, get the weight off of your track. We did this here with a uh, few pieces of wood just to prop up the rear end. Uh, you just need to get the weight off of the sliders. Um, it's up to you whether or not you want to loosen your track. You can, it might make it a little bit easier, but you don't necessarily have to. Uh, a lot of people recommend taking the entire rear suspension or the skid out uh, if you want to do that. That's this bolt here in the front, and then this bolt here just under the uh, corner of the gas tank. And uh, your rear skid will just pop right out. Uh, you know, that's going to take a lot more time and be a lot more complicated uh, for you if you've never done something like this before. But it can help because you'll be able to inspect your components a lot better. You know, check your bearings and your uh, idler wheels and make sure they're good. But... We're just going to do it without leaving the skid in. Next thing we're going to do is come back up to the front of the skid here. Uh, there's a screw that goes right through the piece of plastic and up into the aluminum here. And uh, you're going to go ahead and take that screw out. Uh, it's a P3 Phillips is a size. Um, so you just want to line up one of the windows, uh, which are just these holes in the track with the uh, screw hole in here. And as you can see, ours is lined up and there's the screw. So we're just going to take that screw out now. Now to get the sliders out from the inside of your track here, you're going to need to slide them through one of the windows on the track. There are a few ways you can do this. Uh, the way that I like to do it is to use a chisel and uh, drive them out the back of the track through the window. Uh, looking quickly on YouTube, I saw a few other methods. Uh, someone else used a slide hammer, uh, and then someone else just was able to use a pair of vice grips. Uh, I think the chisel method is going to be the easiest, and uh, that's what I've done in the past. So, here we go. At this point, we've moved on to uh, using a pry bar, because the chisel was digging in a little bit too deep. Uh, so we just made a little divot in the Hyfax for the uh, pry bar to ride in with the chisel. And, uh, now if we come around to the back here, we want to make sure that we have a window lined up with this. And you can see that we do right here, but it's a little bit too narrow for the, uh, the Hyfax, so let's try to... Uh, wiggle it through and if not we might have to cut the window a little bit. So one more note when using this method you want to make sure that you don't drive the chisel in so far that you uh, go straight through the plastic and into the uh, aluminum rail uh, that will help to destroy it. Finally got the uh, slider out and uh, unfortunately we ended up having to cut a little bit of the window off uh, just a small piece. We used an X-Acto knife for it uh, just to let it slide through a little bit easier. Uh, this really don't recommend this, but it's so cold out. The track wasn't being flexible enough to get the slider through, so we had to do that. Uh, if you do it, it's a good idea to just take a little bit of a flame and uh, kind of burn off and melt the, uh, the webbing that's showing through that spot so that it... Uh, doesn't cause a hole to tear any bigger. Uh, 
So now we're gonna go ahead and put the new sliders in. With a lot of uh, prying and moving the chisel around and pounding the old slider out, we got it out. So you can see it's right here sitting next to the new one. Uh, it was very eaten through. So we got our new replacement set. What you want to do is go ahead and take a look at your old one compared to your new one. Make sure that they look pretty much the same. Your old one might be a little bit narrower because uh, it got worn down just by use. Uh, so that's all right if your new one's a little bit wider. Uh, so you can see our old one is shorter than our new one. So we're going to need to cut the new one to length. Uh, we're just going to use the old one as a measurement. Uh, just going to mark it and cut it. And uh, we also, before we cut it, we need to come up here and look at the screw holes. Make sure that they're both the same distance from the end of the high fax. Uh, if they're not, then you want to do this cut first so that your screw holes line up the same uh, compared to the end. Uh, these ones line up, the uh, old ones are a little bit bent so it looks like they're not lining up. But, uh, so we're going to go ahead and cut that down now. Once you get this cut off, you can go ahead and uh, so you can see the factory ones, we had a little bit of a bevel on the back end there. Uh, you can do that. Um, it's really important if you have reverse to do that, but if you don't, uh, you can go ahead and leave them like this and just clean up the burrs like uh, we're doing right now. But uh, I would go ahead and uh, make a nice little bevel like that and uh, also taper both ends to make it easier to get the slider in and out next time. In order to get this slider back through the track a little bit easier, we're going to taper the end of it. And to do that, we'll be using an angle grinder with a flap disc on it. You can use anything. Uh, you might be able to use some kind of a utility knife. You might just use some sandpaper, uh, whatever you have. You now, this is an optional step, but it's going to make it easier for us. chose not to loosen your track uh, when you're pounding your new slider in, you want to watch up on the, uh, the curve right in here on your skid to make sure that the, uh, the slider doesn't start to catch on some of the windows here. If it does, you just want to have a friend come in and go ahead and kind of pry down the track so that the, uh, just like this, so the high facts can pop right by. So once the uh, back of the the uh, slider disappears through the track, you're gonna need to make up some kind of tool to stick through so that you can pound it in even further. Just keep pounding until the uh, front lines up with the uh, front of the skid here. What we did was take a an extra piece of the the uh, slider that we cut off and just tapered it so it would fit in between the window nice and easily. So you're pounding this in, you want to go ahead and look at where your bolt needs to go to uh, hold the slider in place and uh, make sure that your hole on the slider lines up with it. Uh, it's easier to keep checking and uh, on your way pushing the slider in to make sure it's lining up and uh, backing it out. So just keep an eye on that. To fine tune the position of your slider uh, to line up with the bolt hole properly, you can take a small screwdriver here and uh, stick it up into the hole where the bolt goes. You see the screwdriver head sticking through there and kind of move it back and forth a little bit and that'll help to uh, position the slider where you need it to be. Slip the nut in 
and turn. So one more note before we wrap up the video here. Uh, while you have your sliders off, it's a good time to check all your, your clips on your track, these metal clips here. And uh, take a look around the hole underneath the here, make sure I mean, nothing looks bad. Uh, you know, grab your wheels, kind of spin them a little bit, see if they move side to side, just kind of try to check the bearings, make sure they're good. Uh, you know, just do a general inspection. But uh, So that's how you replace the sliders, or high facts, whatever you prefer to call them, uh, on a snowmobile. I uh, hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.